Today we're going to be looking at what you do when you reach the top of a sport climb and how you go about lowering down in a safe manner. The first you can see on looking at this one is there's no in situ beaner which makes it a bit harder. If there are one or two in situ beaners then like at the climbing wall you clip those and lower down. If not we'll go through a couple of ways of finding a safe system of sorting out and, and lowering down. So in this first case I've climbed up and I've clipped this lower bolt just like you would do a bolt on the route, clipped my rope to it and got Andrew to then take me on the rope. So I'm now safe and I've now completed the climb. Uh, my hands are now free, so I'm able to then take this longer quick draw I've got in my harness and clip this directly into the top bolt. And then pull myself up a little bit and clip this into my belay loop here. Because these two bolts are connected with a strong chain, I'm quite happy just clipping into one of them. If one of these bolts was to fail, then they're backed up to the other one. Um, because I'm now taken here, again, my hands are free like before, and I'm free for Andrew to give me some slack on this rope, as he's doing here. And then on this setup, I'm taking a bite of rope from above that last quick draw. And as it's got such a good, so strong, central lowering off ring here, I poke that bite directly through it, pull it through, do a double figure of eight in the bite, and with a spare screw gate I've carried. I clip that directly into my belay loop, obviously remembering to, to screw it up. I'm then able to untie my rope. Pull that end screw and I'm pretty much ready to lower down here. So you can see my rope now comes up from the belay through that central point back down with a double figure of eight and a screw gate into my belay loop. So this method has quite a few advantages with it. What I like about it is you never fully untie from the rope. Initially you've got the figure of eight which you led up with. You can do that bite of rope and tie in there before you're untying the figure of eight. So it does mean that if you fumble the rope at any point you wouldn't drop the hook and then be left marooned here. It also means that if the belay failed or the quick draws came undone. I'm still on belay, I'm still protected by Andrew, so I'd, I'd take a fall onto the last bolt, but not all the way to the ground. The other method, the other advantage of it is quite a simple method. So it's quite simple what you do, but you don't need much extra gear. So the extra gear I've carried is the single screw gate and an extra quick draw to clip myself in with. So I'm now ready to lower down. First thing I'll do is unclip my first quick draw. And before you go about unclipping your last one, you want to make sure your belay is still awake, still got you on belay. So I look down. Can you take me here, Andrew? So he now pulls me tight on this rope. I know he's paying attention. He's got me on belay. And I'm free to unclip my top quick draw. And lower down. Okay, take that, Andrew. So now we're going to look at a second method for threading your belays. Um, this method is for if there isn't a chain between the two bolts, and also if the eye of the bolt is too small to fit a bite of rope through it. Um, as with the last method, you climb up, clip the first bolt, clip your rope to it and get taken so you've completed the climb and you're nice and safe. Take off your long quick draw, clip to give a bolt, and pull up and clip that directly into the belay loop of your harness. So you're now clipped in tight. Still on belay, still clipped up with this bolt as well. So now I'll get a little bit of slack. Can I have some slack? Now, the difference here, as I said, there's no chain. And also you can see that if you try to push the bite directly through and retie in, it won't fit through. So instead, you pull up a little loop about two, three feet. Again, tie a doubled figure of eight. And with the spare screw gate, clip that into your belay loop and screw it up. You can then untie your original lead knot, remembering that you're still on belay, you're still protected with the figure of eight and this bolt here. Untie your lead line.
And now with the free end of rope, you can pass that directly through both the bolts, pull it all the way through. And then retie in. So you want to make sure that the amount of rope you've pulled up is enough to give you room to re-thread it all and tie back in. So again, check the rope screw through both the points, check your knot's good, and you're then able to undo the screw gate, untie your figure of eight, pull all the slack through, and you're pretty much ready to go. Before I unclip these final points, I like to check that my belay is awake, check there's no issues with the system. So what I like to do is get taken on the rope before I unclip them. So can you take in there? And then you can see it's all good. You know your belay is good. You can unclip. Quick draws. And you'd now be ready to lower down. In both cases, there are a few general points you want to be aware of, or things you might want to consider. The quality of the bolts and the rock that they're placed in. You want to make sure there's no sharp edges where the ropes might be running. And during your whole time doing the, the threading, you want to make sure you double check all knots, that you pay attention to what you're doing, as any mistake at this point could be quite nasty. Okay, 